My name is Allison Schultz, and I am assistant curator of the ornithology department, which means birds. So as someone who's been a fantasy buff for my entire life, I'm really excited to think about dragons and how they might be inspired by actual creatures in the natural world. And so one thing that we think about with these dragons is that they have four limbs. You know, some dragons will have both hind forefeet and hind feet as well as wings, but these are much more like actual creatures because they only have hind feet and their wings. And so what does that make us think of? Birds. Birds also have hind feet and wings. Here I've got a bird skeleton. This is a chicken. And one thing that we notice is that, you know, just like the dragons in the show, birds are walking on their toes. That's similar to a lot of other big cats. But one big difference between dragons and birds is how the wings function. And so one thing that you notice about bird wings is that essentially all of the arm bones are making up the wing. So when a bird's flapping, they're essentially flapping their entire arm. Now dragons are actually much more like not birds, but actually other flying creatures, which are bats. So here I've got from our friends in the mammalogy department, we have a vampire bat. And one thing that we notice is that these little kind of spines in the wings are actually elongated fingers. And so unlike birds, where the fingers are actually very reduced, when a bat is flapping its wing, it's actually more like it's opening and closing its hand. And that's very similar to dragon wings on the show. And so the skin in between the, all of their elongated fingers is actually you know, much more kind of leathery. Here in this specimen, it looks pretty dry and like paper, but it'd be pretty flexible, just like you see in dragons when they're flying. One other thing that's really cool when we think about these vampire bats and kind of the similarities to the dragons that we see is how they walk. So most bats can't walk, but vampire bats are actually one of the exceptions. They actually walk on their hands. So they'll walk kind of like, kind of like this, basically. And if you, you know, watch the dragons as they're like walking around, they're walking just like a vampire bat does. So now you can come down here to NHMLAC and see them for yourself. And some of the other props from the show in the House of the Dragon exhibition happening now.